I'll show you how to use groups. Uh, groups are a crucial element in Bubble because they allow you to make your app properly responsive and also uh, they allow you to show or hide elements together. Uh, before I show you how to group elements, I'm going to add some elements to this page. So we already have uh, this text and I'm going to add another text, like a subtext, for example. Um, join thousands of beauty addicts like you, for example. And I'm going to add also an image here. Uh, so I just take the image element and draw it on the page. And I'm going to choose a static image and click on upload. And just choose an image on my desktop. It can take a little bit of time to upload. Okay, so now uh, we have uh, a few elements. And to group elements, you can just select them so with a Mac, it would be Command and Shift, and you select your elements. And you can either group them from the Property Editor by clicking on Group these elements into a group, or you can just uh, do a right click and select Group Elements in a Group. So you click on this, and it automatically generates a group here. Uh, so we, you can see it in the, the Property Editor. You can, we can rename it right away. Um, actually, a very good tip is to name everything super carefully. Uh, your future self will really thank you um, because all the elements will appear here in the element tree. And if you name them properly, it will make your work much more easier, much more, much easier. Uh, especially when you are going to define your workflows. Uh, if, you, if all the elements have the same name, it will be very complicated for you to work. Uh, so let's name also the image. So let's call it uh, image main header. And um, so uh, now that we have uh, this group, we'll be able to uh, define, for example, conditions for this group. Um, so we'll see later uh, why it is so important, but basically it's because uh, it will make your work much easier when you will uh, need to make it responsive. And whenever you want um, several elements to appear or disappear, you won't have to define this for each element, but rather for the full group.